guys. We are doing a candid cap video tonight about video games because it seems like a lot of couples really struggle with the fact that men like to play video games. Like the men we know like to play video games and the wives and girlfriends that I know really hate that. Like really, really, really hate it. And I've been asked many, many times what my feelings are on you playing video games. Yeah. Yeah, like it definitely is something that I completely understand. But it's not any different than any other hobby. And I've always felt like I would so much rather you be home right. and be doing something nearby than going off drinking or going off and doing a hobby with other guys. Like he's here with yeah. us. Yeah, and there are other expensive hobbies that existed well before video games, like, you know, model making. You, you know, you used to see this a lot of times where people would have. I'm less familiar with the bottle well, making. Well, <laughs> for example, if you look at some of the older uh, Christmas, you know, like our holiday uh, movies, the grandparents or the grandfather always had some kind of model airplane or model ships or whatever. That like, you're gonna, like ships in a bottle? Yeah, you're, like stuff you're not supposed a, to touch, I'm, you know, and it's, okay. all, all those are, it's just hobbies. And there were expensive hobbies that are delicate and when you're done, you know, you have something nice to show for. Well, video games are a new kind of hobby that really just exists in the, the time that you're playing them. You know, you're, you're winning these awards that are not real and they're gone, but they're entertaining as well. So I, it is a different time because it didn't exist back in the day. And because it didn't exist back in the day, there's really not much to compare it to, except for- Yeah, but I feel like people, yeah. people treat video games like, even since we grew up, like it's some really, really horrible thing. Yeah. Like it's really bad for your kids and FYI, Aaron makes a living because he went to school to be a video game developer. Even though he works in the corporate world now, mm -hmm. I look at that and I think... It's still the trade skill that I learned yes. for video games, so... Yeah, so I kind of feel like when, especially when women have, you know, say to me things about how much he plays video games, because if you come to our house, if you were here at the house today, Aaron was camped out at the dining room table, and he will loudly play video games, like, literally all day. And the only time it bothers me... Really, the only time it bothers me is when I feel like he's snapping at the rest of us or like he's just so upset to leave the game. That happened today, but even even in those situations, I just took all the kids out. We just loaded up in the car because I'm not willing to fight with him about it. I love, I love him, I love you. I want him to be able to do something that's gonna help him because I don't know if you guys have noticed, it's really hard to be an adult. Like. It's really hard to be an adult. If you have no way of getting out your angst, you'll never be nice to anyone, is kind of how I feel. And honestly, there's there's never a good reason to snap at somebody when you're in a video game. It's generally the competitive nature that I have, and I'm trying to pull away from that to respond to real life, and even in the middle of that or whatever, it's hard sometimes to disengage. But uh, it's never meant to be, you know, it's never uh, truly anger, it's just, I'm competitive and I'm losing or or I'm on the verge of winning and then all of a sudden, honey, honey, I need your help now. And it's like, it, the first reaction is, 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 is snap, but it's definitely oh, yeah, not, today, I don't mean it. Well, we, we had an issue today because I guess a game had actually like accidentally started while he was helping me with something. So he lost like while he was helping me. I hadn't lost all day with that, that deck and then lost because I, I felt really bad. I actually felt really bad. I think that's why towards the end of the day I was like, I'm just going to take the kids out because I don't necessarily want our lives to revolve around your games. But come on, if you're in a relationship with any other person, like frankly any other person, there are going to be things that they excuse about you and then you need to excuse things about them. So. It's true. Every paycheck I set aside money because after eight years of being married, one of the things that is the most troublesome, I know this is silly, but it is troublesome over this length of time, is when a game is being released and we don't have the money for it. And that is like such an epic, horrible thing for Aaron and it kind of extends to the rest of the family. So I always try to make sure that there is $60 a paycheck that's his fun money and he deserves way more than that. He deserves so much more than that. But I like to make sure that if there's a big release, there's always $60 in a paycheck. You'd be like, oh, oh, a big release is coming. Ha, ah, like, I don't know. I don't know what to compare And it's really it to. up to me to spend it the right way. Like, uh, for this time around, I didn't spend the whole thing. I spent like maybe 20 bucks on something game related. And uh, 
it doesn't matter how much it is that you put aside that if you have a game you know hobby or whatever you want to do put a little aside is, is doesn't it's not that big of a deal like it, it should be something you should you should do because it's your entertainment and for me I don't spend money anywhere else like yeah that's it. he really doesn't like he really doesn't I especially my dad is not going to be watching this but my dad is always like why doesn't Aaron have more money to spend because he's the sole income earner but Aaron is so fabulous he'll say I bought a family he'll be like I bought a wife <laughs> and kids da -da! Yep. like if you haven't had four kids you have no effing clue how expensive they are every time I turn around I feel like oh there's no money for anything yeah. because they need they need things like they need things so i have some peers i'm not going to name names but some peers at, at work that uh, have very very nice cars and they earn around what i earn we are happy with our car it's 10 but years old but it's very nice it's a very nice okay car, okay, okay but it's 10 years old but right. like she said i bought a family and families yeah. are expensive and uh if he has a yeah. nice car it's going to be 10 years old <laughs> Which and we're thankful, and we're thankful, but it's just different. It's just different. So, yeah, so I would say, also we hope to be able to develop games someday. For real, he's he's a genius. He's a competitive uh, player. I appreciate it, honey, but You're that's awesome. off topic. That's off topic. Sorry. Yeah. So, yes, regarding video games, I think that it's so much better than other hobbies. Yeah. It does cause problems yeah. sometimes, but they're minor, and we've learned ways to get over them, and in, in general... I know he has a good heart and he loves us and he's just trying to have fun for a minute and I don't hate him because he wants to have fun and, and, and it's wonderful honestly uh, if any of you are out there and you're struggling with this understand that it does improve the relationship many fold to allow your men to play games uh, oh, it like uh, if it, that whole like biblical thing that like wives respect your husband and husbands love your wives is a big deal I know he loves me I know he loves me and so I feel like my the whole it's like a non-issue. Oh, he loves me. He's doing something he loves to do. I'm going to respect that he wants to do that. But I'll tell him if he's doing something that's like, mm, at the moment. And we work through that. So, video games, get the check, the A-OK -okay in our house. Yep. And honestly, uh, we have had a time, uh, several times, in fact, in our eight years, where my wife has considered me addicted to games. Yeah. And in those times, I've put them away for months at a time. Like, literally did not play for months. And it, it's, it's in a way, it's to show respect to her. It's so And it's sweet. also to uh, kind of de, de louse or whatever you want to call it. It kind of reengages you, know? you with the family. Yeah. Wait, whenever you've done that, it's like, it's almost a shocker to not have something fun. It's like a budget or something. Like anything that we, where you're not eating sweets. Or, it can be kind of good to like break it up and stop yourself from something you really enjoy. Face that and then kind of ease back into it again, I think. Yep. But, which which yeah. I've done twice, so... It's, yeah. it's been big, and, and because of that, I think it's helped us also work out wh why it's okay, you know? And Well, and we let our kids play. I, I mean, I'm amazed. Our kids play outside because I love to be outside. Like, we, we are a good mix. He's an indoor person. I'm an outdoor person. But if my kids want to play a ton of video games, I see what they're learning from those video games. And also, I feel like, do you know how much programmers make? Like good for them. I want them to be immersed in technology and to understand how to use it to a limit, but I'm not afraid right. of it. I would say I'm not afraid of it. That's the deal. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's us in video games. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, comment, and tell us are video games an issue for you and how do you handle them and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Bye guys. Bye. You